had a few questions uh, about how to best solder up these distribution boards. Um, and I guess the challenge is that if you try to go on without uh, enough solder or enough heat, the solder tends to bead off of them. So the uh, easiest thing to do is just to prep the board first, maybe even before it's sitting on top of the carbon fiber frame. Uh, take your iron. I think I've got mine turned up to about uh, 670 degrees. Um, the, uh, the initial bit of solder on here is a lead-free solder as it comes from the factory. So it's got a little higher flow temperature, but uh, nothing to worry about too much. And on the tip, you just want to make sure that you've got some solder on that tip um, because that's what will make the heat bridge and allow things to, uh, to flow easily. So get a little bit of solder going on the tip like that. And let's see if we can zoom in here. Then go on to one of the pads, and it does take a little bit to heat it up. Just let that solder on the tip, heat the pad, heat till it flows. You'll see if you start putting solder on right away, it won't stick. It'll just bead on the end of the iron. But if you let it eventually heat up that whole pad, things will flow nicely. Once you've got that pad heated up, and it does take a little bit, once you've got it heated up, you can put a nice little pool of solder on it and it will flow nicely. Give yourself a little blob and just leave that there for attaching your wire. So once you've got all of your pads all ready, um, I like to uh, mount everything up and just solder in place. So. I've misplaced my side cutters, but you can basically just give it a little snip to um, maybe a little bit longer than you actually want it to go so that you can put a little slack back in the pad. And peel a little insulation off. If you bite your nails, you're out of luck. Otherwise, the old fingernail wire strippers work pretty well. And then we're going to tin that up a bit. Again, just make sure it's hot enough so you can feed the solder into the wire, not onto the tip of the iron. You don't want these things to be too tight, so you can create a little bit of slack by forcing it a little bit out of the way. Get yourself down there. If you want, you can feed a little more solder in. Give it some time to heat up. And once it's in place, just hold it down. There you go. Let it cool before you move it around at all. And you should have a reasonable joint. And then once again, just with a closer view. So you always want to have some solder on the end of your tip. That helps the heat transfer. If you ever find it's taking too long for things to heat up, chances are you don't have enough on the tip. A nice little bit going there. And then we're going to bring it down. Give it the time it needs to heat up. Once it does, it'll flow nicely. There you go, you saw it just pool there. Hold it down. And we're good. Just to show you that tinning, if you get it right, you can apply heat on one side, and as soon as you get a little flow, you can put the solder anywhere on the wire, and it'll melt into it. Not touching the iron. <laughs> 